Hi, this is Head Harvester Ed Laflamme from the East Coast. We're all aware that COVID-19 has been the biggest disruptor in our lifetime. No matter what type of landscape business you have, you were affected, I'm sure. In some circumstances, depending on the type of work, owners and managers were forced to have their people report directly to the job sites or report to your facilities and follow caravan style to the jobs. In most cases, office people work from their homes, as well as salespeople, account managers, and designers, and most of the owners too. Necessary meetings were held on the new Zoom platform, which was new to most all of us, but we had to adapt and learn this new way of doing business and talking to our customers too. I was recently talking to an executive at a major Fortune 500 company and he said that 90% of their workforce worldwide was working from home and that the unbelievable thing is they're more productive than now they're more productive now than when they reported to the office i have a friend that's an electrical inspector for a major city here in connecticut and he told me that the commercial office buildings are empty that many of the electricians are crazy busy though installing hardwired connections in employees' homes that work for these corporations. You see, they don't want their people on Wi-Fi because it's unstable and it's not secure. He was saying that these corporations are paying big bucks for this and he couldn't see them returning to the office space after they spent all this money. Good point. Matter of fact, some of these building owners are now thinking of converting their offices to residential space. This is really a serious situation. I read one report that stated U.S. office space could shrink by over 1 billion square feet. That's with a B. Holy cow, you landscapers out there that are maintaining these office buildings and commercial space, better be careful now and in the future. While most of the workers in the country continue to work from their homes, the big question on the minds of many is, will people eventually go back to the offices post-COVID or will these offices remain empty? Owners of landscape companies, large or small, they're probably wondering, should they, we have our people go back to work or is it okay to let them stay home? I've been giving this a lot of thought and doing research on the subject as well as talking to my clients and getting their opinion, as well as talking to, to the harvesters. According to a survey done by Anita Kamuri, an expert on the subject, 82% of the office workers in the US, they wanna continue working from home. These workers feel that they're equally productive at home as they were at the office, with half of the distractions. How do the employers feel though? In her survey, the typical employer said, He's saving $11,000 a person if they work at least half the time from their home. That's probably not the case with landscapers, but there is a savings for sure. The employees felt they would be saving between $2,500 and $4,000 per year on the reduced cost of commuting. Maybe it's because that's Starbucks coffee maybe on the way, who knows. Um, but why are some of these uh, employers reluctant to allow them to work from home? Well, it's really all about trust, isn't it? They're, they're used to managing uh, these folks with butts and seats rather than by results. But that's not really managing, right? That's babysitting. Seeing the back of someone's head, she says, tells nothing about whether the person is actually working and getting things done. She said that when clients ask, how will I know if they're working when they're at home? She says, I ask, how do you know they're working when they're at the office? Management experts have been saying for years the need to manage by results, not micromanaging because that doesn't work. So managers are, are going to need to learn how to manage their people by results, which is far more than far more and much more productive. That was Peter Drucker's philosophy. So what's the bottom line? Best estimates stated by Kate Lister, president of Global Workplace analytics is that between 25 and 30 percent of the workforce will work from home multiple days a week by the end of 2021 and they'll they'll feel that continue as well what does this mean for your landscape company though 
It means that when the COVID-19 puzzle gradually gets solved, you should seriously weigh the pros and cons of working from home versus working from the office and do the best thing for both your company, your people, and your customers. This is Head Harvester Ed Laflamme from the East Coast, hoping this thought-provoking information helped you to harvest your potential.